Hey folks, my name is Travis S1 and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In today's episode, we're going to be going into the Mirror Leaf Cup, which is probably one of the worst cups in the game, in my honest opinion. It's quite, um, boring. A lot of the tracks are not my personal favorite. They're slow, they're... Just not very remember, not very memorable, except for Music Park, but that's about it. Like, it, it's just honestly one of the worst, if not the worst, cup. We start with DS Wario Stadium. Like, the ideas they have with these are pretty unique. I, for the most part, in a lot of the game, in a lot of the Mario Kart games, I just don't find the Leaf Cup very enjoyable. Like, I, I remember the um, Mario Kart Wii Leaf Cup probably the most, but like, I just remember the tracks and they were so bland. They, they're just not the like, best tracks that you can put together for like, a, a pretty, like, yeah, they're difficult tracks, but they're just not very enjoyable. I would rather play like, courses, maybe like, Wii Toad Circuit or something, not Toad Circuit, like, uh, Toad's Factory, but they put in things like this, which is just, it's just not a very memorable track, and I do find it a little bland at the same time, but yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of complaint department stuff, so that's pretty nice. shell on the way and we get ourselves completely wrecked because that's how this works. When you're in first place you're completely wrecked because you don't have the stuff you want. Because the game's not very nice to you. Oof. Yeah. I hope everybody's been doing well. Got, got a new game channel that just aired yesterday for the first time. Pretty stoked for it. I hope a lot of you guys have been enjoying it trying some new stuff around here. As for usual, though, Mario Kart 8 series will continue as scheduled. Um, a lot of the cool cups are coming a longer way, getting close to the DLC in the game, so I'm pretty excited for that. I, I like a lot of the DLC stuff. They actually have some pretty cool tracks. A couple of them are a little frustrating, but it's just because of DLC, you know. We're getting absolutely housed in this race. It's absolutely horrible. I mean, we're still, like, dominating, but we're just getting housed by items all over. Yeah, that's DS Wario Stadium for you guys. <laughs> um, not much to talk about, just a pretty bland, stupid track. Um, yeah, that's on one of my least favorites for this game. Although, I will admit, uh, the GameCube Sherbet Land here is a pretty unique track. I, I do enjoy it. I like the multiple concepts that it has, where you can go underwater now. Like, there, there's some really cool ideas that this track has, but it, it's a track that's fun every once in a while, but the first time that you play through it, it's just like, really, bro? <laughs> Why, why'd you make me, uh... Why'd you make me play this? Well, yeah, we got ourselves a super horn just in case we get a good old blue shell coming our way, so we'll be prepared. Yeah. Some cool stuff. We do see that blue shell on the map on the right. And I guess we're going to be prepared for Red Shell too, but I think I would prefer it right there. Cool. That way we don't get that double landing. Yeah, not, not the most memorable, but definitely a, a lot of cool things going on with this track. Yeah, every once in a while, if I'm feeling Sherbet Land, I will, I will pick Sherbet Land because. 
because why not? Sherbet Land is is it's not that bad of a it's not that bad of a track, but like I said, in comparison to some others, boy oh boy, Whew. we could definitely have some better stuff. Final line. I will say though that the remake of this from the original uh, Double Dash. My goodness, this track looks gorgeous. It's like one of the best looking tracks in the entire game. 100%. Like, the lights all around. Like, everything just makes you feel happy. Except for that person that's trying to drive behind you. Bro, what was that banana place? Come back here. What am I doing? Whoa. That was really stupid. Um, the comeback is cool, but what the heck? What am I? What was I doing there? I quite frankly completely forgot that I did that. Huh? Weird. Next track, probably my personal favorite out of the couple, undeniably the most memorable is Music Park. And Music Park is... Mm. I'm, I think I mentioned this in the Star Cup video, but I really... <laughs> right off the track. Like, this is a great track, I enjoy it. I think Electrodrome actually really pushed it a lot better. But, you know, it's still a track that's a lot of fun to play. I very much enjoy it. Like, this would be the track I'd play the most on, uh, 7. If we're, if we're playing 7, I dominate this track. It's just... <laughs> it's just a fact. But... Like, this is just such a cool track. The vibes are neat. It's often criticized that this track is like, oh, you didn't ch they didn't change it much from the original. I'm, I'm kind of with, like, the side of, it didn't need to be changed. It wasn't a bad track in the first place. Why change it? You, you don't need the anti-gravity to prove this track to be better. Just, it's just a good track anyway. Everybody enjoys playing it. It's got some great speed. And it's very clever. But yeah. I love I love Music Park. Get a great gliding section right here. Take out some cool aspects. Don't get robbed by this person who wants to beat you. Ooh, that was cl ha <laughs> ha! Oh jeez. Oh jeez, that was an absolute funny thing. Tries to shoot the red shell, completely misses, and just hits my banana instead. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely perfect. Up into the air, gliding. Bam! And we're right across the last turn. One more turn, and throw the banana back because I'm a horrible person, and we win. Forty-five. We're doing pretty well. One more track, and here we have probably my honest least favorite track of maybe the Retro Cups. Yoshi Valley is... I, I know a lot of people love it, right? It just... I don't have the same vibe. It, it doesn't... This is a track that bothers me a lot more than, it, than I find fun. Because... Like... 
Ev everybody knows the path that's fastest. Like, in online. And if, if it just kind of turns into a lot more of a chaos race rather than a race of, like, literally who has good skill. Like, I, I know a lot of tracks already do that, but this is just one that you don't, it, it's all about how you take the last turn. But yeah, like, I shouldn't be able to know every single time the route that I have the, that's the fastest. It's just, this track is honestly a joke from the 64 game. But yeah, that's my opinion on Yoshi Valley right there. <laughs> my two cents for the day. You guys get to hear me complain more. More complaint department stuff. Yeah, like the, the ideas behind this track in the 64 game, like playing this on Mario Kart 64 is a lot of fun. This is a very enjoyable track because you don't know where you are in relation to the uh, computers, but it's literally nothing in this game. It's just not that, once again, it's not that enjoyable. I just lose all the value, I lose all the interest that this track provides. It's also not one of the most aesthetically pleasing tracks, I guess I can say. Like, pretty, pretty bland in some areas. turn and hold on to your super horns, destroy the red shell, we're done. Four perfect first places, that's actually pretty nice. Alrighty, so that is the Leaf Cup. Like I said, not one of my personal favorites, but you know what? It's kind of, it was kind of enjoyable watching some of his uh, moments, though. There were some pretty funny ones. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be doing the Mirror Lightning Cup, which is going from, like, the worst to the best cup in the game. And I'm pretty stoked for that. Um, besides that, not much to say. Go check out the other stuff. The whole series is still going. And until next time, I will see you all later.